Problem number 71, page 702. Find the solutions for 32 to the power of x squared plus 4x equal equals 16 to the power of x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now what should we do here, guys? Ideas. 32 and 16. Hmm. 32 and 16, if you think about powers. James? You cannot because you have a power here and if you divide will just uh, will not well, will not change we're looking for the same base and if you think about 32 is actually 2 to the power of 5 everything to the power of x squared plus 4x which should that equal Absolutely. 16 is nothing else but 2 to the power of 4, everything to the power of x squared plus 4x plus 3, right? Now, you, we know from yesterday that one of the laws of exponents said if I have a to the power of m, everything to the power of n will be a to the power of m times n. And we'll apply that to our expressions here. Which means I have one, two to the power of five times x squared plus four x should equal two to the power of four times x squared plus four x plus three. And now you guys notice that because I have because I have the same base, in order for this left expression and right expression to be equal, I need to have the exponents equal, right? And that will become your equation actually now. I have to find for what values of my x this 5 times x squared plus 4x will equal 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 3. Very good. Moving on, first step, multiply by 5 and by 4. I have 5x squared plus 20x equals 4 times x squared is 4x squared plus 16x plus 4 times 3, 12. Let's move everything on one side then because the coefficient of my x squared is bigger and positive on this left side. I will subtract everything that's on the right here from both sides. Basically everything moves on the other side with a different sign. Right? On the left I have 5x squared plus 20x, the expression that was already there, and then I have minus 4x squared minus 16x minus 12 equals 0. Do you guys see that? Because I subtracted 4x squared from both sides, I subtracted 16x from both sides, and I subtracted 12 from both sides. Combine like terms, 5x squared minus 4x squared would be just x squared. 20x minus 16x would be plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Now you can use either the quadratic formula or the factorization, right? Which one works in here? Well, yeah, you can go with the factorization. Seems to be an easy uh, factorization here. First term is obviously x. The last one they will have different signs, right? Because their product is negative. Their sum has to be 4. It means that the positive one is bigger in absolute value. I have plus 6 minus 2. And that should equal 0. And this gives you your two solutions. x1, x2. You make each one of this 0, right? 
x plus 6 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. If you want, you can put, you know, this small sign equal, right? And if you solve x plus 6 equals 0, x1 will be negative 6. If you solve x minus 2 equals 0, your second root, your second solution, will be x equals 2. And this is the answer. The answer, my friends, is blowing in the wind. You know why? Because we're still not done. No matter how many math problems you solve, there are still others to be solved. They never end. Don't fight with the forest, right? And with math problems, because they never end.